Batman Odyssey, Part 1. Neil Adams. Story and Art. Batman. Created by Bob Kane. Hi, I'm acclaimed comic book creator, Neil Adams. I'd like to introduce you to Batman Odyssey, while I'll be acting as your host and narrator this evening. Now we join Batman, alone in the Batcave, only with his bat thoughts. Yes, that's the exit wound. The bullet entered near the inner wrist and slid between the ulna and the radius. Missed the bones entirely. (laughs) I bled like a stuck pig. (laughs) You could say it started that day, in a way. Or perhaps that day was symbolic of the whole thing. I was very young, a few years older than Dick is now. I had made my decision firmly, years before, when the tragedy, you know, happened. My methodology occurred to me when that bat flew in the window. But it still seemed silly. You know, a bat? Anyway, I originally told myself that I'd made the costume for the Beaux Arts. It was a lie, and deep inside I knew it. To be honest, I'm lucky to have lived through that day. I was making my way through the lead passenger car, and I bumped into Arthur O'Brien, the train conductor. Oh, Mr. Wayne! Going out for a spot of air on our observation, is it? That I am. There aren't many passenger cars with an observation deck left these days, Mr. O'Brien. In fact, they're against the law in most places, with few exceptions. Aye, they nicknamed it the Orient Express for that very reason, Mr. Wayne. Strapping young man. Buying this train line, they say. Perhaps it won't hurt to let him meet my Jenny. I changed quickly into my costume. My thoughts went ever so briefly to the costume man in Metropolis. How different I felt. I'm probably crazy wearing this costume. Frightened criminals? More like acting the buffoon. Still, it's a disguise. I won't be recognized. All that being so, when I drew even one of my 45 automatics, my confidence blossomed and grew. I scrambled upward to the top of the train, like the creature I emulated, I imagined. Could have waited on drawing the gun. Now I have to climb with one hand. Stupid. The train was the target. This much I knew. That information only cost me two Gs. In the forming of a very strange alliance. For what? Robbery? Kidnapping? Hardly seemed possible. Worse? I couldn't hear hardly at all. It got worse the higher I went. The Doppler effect was taking away and blending the sound. I could see them. They were diligently working away, oblivious to me. My confidence rose. As the wind whipped at my cape, there was an intermittent light as of a flame or sparks. And then I looked down. country was in the middle of a gasoline shortage. Even so, I couldn't believe what I saw. How or why would anyone go to so much trouble as this to hide gasoline? What the hell? It's a disguised truck of some sort. Is this a legal thing? Why is it disguised as a regular rail car? That's a gasoline truck in a train car. I had taken my attention away from the danger, and it was about to bite me in the ass. Look! Look! Ah! It's a... It's a demon! Ah! Oh god, we're, we're dead now! Look at it! Look at it! It's got claws! The foul thing from hell! We're all gonna die! Holy hell, what the hell is that? It's a demon! Kill it! Kill him! Drill that thing! Whatever it is! That part went better than expected. At least one of them was terrified, the rest confused. Next, I had a practical test for the Batarang number 37 test model. Too well armed. Damn, aim bad. Add train jostling, they'll hit nothing. I thought, I realized getting off the bouncing train would steady my aim, but it would give me mere seconds. That's when the law of averages caught up to me, and that's when the bullet entered just above my wrist. Self-cleaning wound hurt the next day. Something 
Focus. Like a horror show. Blam, 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 blam. He's targeting our yeah, guns! That battering worked like a charm. Get him! Get him! To gain momentum, I had set the battering tether for an eight-foot rewind in my arc. As my arc tightened, I calmly laid down fire, targeting glints on their jacking guns. Yeah! My hands! What? Drag him! Ah! He's a giant bat! Look at him! God! The fear and confusion my costume created was true and honest. Bam! They're in total disarray as I landed among them. Superstitious lot to the extreme, it was true. They were scared. At close quarters, they went down quickly. One! Ugh. Training, of course, will win out over firepower. Then, there's luck. Not to be counted on. One soldier panicked and grabbed my cowl off my head just before I laid him out. Thought. Bad timing and, of course, bad design. That costume was mistake after mistake. My hearing was always a cut above perfect. I heard what seemed to be a very loud voice, like a handful of fries and hot oil. Hey, hombre! Musilago! Blast. Batman. That's good. I like it. I know that voice. Commissioner Rodriguez? It can't be. It can't be! Turn around! Let me get to the meat of the matter before I'm tempted to shoot you in the back! It must have looked like a quick blur to him as I jacked around. Fine. Muy rapidente, mi amigo. Very good. Good training. It is him. I don't get it. What is your business here? Yesterday you- You are interfering with national policy, my costume brother. Are you prepared to kill me for the sake of a puzzle you have yet to unravel? Put your guns down, mi hermano. Before you, you Put know... down your guns, mi hermano. Now! Estupido! I have no patience for this game, hombre. Put your guns aside or I'll very seriously blow this whole train to hell. You are insane. You will die as well. No, hombre, Monsieur Lago. I have an exit strategy. This is a very serious situation. Your gun's down or shoot. I will shoot if you don't. You will shoot my gun, hombre? You will not shoot me? You are too confused by this situation. You should have killed at least one of my comrades. You didn't. And you won't. You won't shoot me? My gun is before my body. I, on the other hand, will blow up this train with impunity. He was right. I couldn't, wouldn't shoot. I was running a bluff, and he knew it. I had to act. I'll have to shoot him. Execute him. I... God. Execute. I could feel Dick's eyes on me as I paused in my narration. His clear picture of me in his eyes suddenly blurred around the edges. You shot him? Shot him? I had to, didn't I? I was calculating the possibilities of hitting that gun of his without hitting him or letting him fire that gun. My automatics were fantastically accurate for handguns. Did you shoot him? Jeez. Now that we understand each other, put your guns away and let my friends finish their job. I've done the math. It's your life against the people on this train. You lose. You set the stakes too high. The fool's chest, neck, and face disappeared into a horrible spray of blood. Blada. Blam! I was stunned. A part of me thought I had actually shot him. What? What? Is this what happens? Did I black out? I... I... just killed a man? I don't feel... Lord. You shot him? You couldn't find a way out of it? Of course I didn't shoot him. I was helpless. He called my bluff. All I could think of was that grenade launcher and what would happen if he shot it at that tank. Was he bluffing? Should I wound him? A maniac saved the day. A maniac? The Maniaco. The Maniaco? A Spanish undercover agent working out of Mexico. He wasn't operating in the U.S. legally, so he accepted the Batman's help in proving his fuel agency wasn't hijacking fuel shipments. Hey, mi hermano. You have not the heart for killing. It's not that. It is very much that, muchachito. Not exactly. 
You did not come here to kill. You're a detective. A Sherlock Holmes. You are not a killer. And if I'm not? Then why do you carry guns? For... defense. Guns. I'm not for a defense. You should not pretend to be what you are not. You're not a killer. All I could think of was my parents being gunned down before my eyes. I was a fool to pack guns. If I knew... I gotta say, boss, like you first said, they give you confidence. Just the feel of them. Don't you feel it? I see it in the eyes of some of the monsters we deal with. They're mesmerized by the power they hold in their hands. It's distracting and dangerous. You're entranced by the romance of firearms. And you are not the only- Help! Yeah, the whole country is captivated. We got an amendment. Okay, let me try another approach. Try an approach from above, dynamic duo! <laughs> Kirk, is that the best you can do? Stick to science, buddy. Let's say you're in a darkened room with 20 men. Let's say they all have guns. All except one. You. Exactly. Whoa, guy! Me! Got it! You don't have a gun. Who will get shot first? Who? Me? I'll get shot first. Me! The guy who doesn't have a gun. No, you'll be most likely to survive by far. H how can you say that? I'm unarmed. I got nothing. Unarmed? That's the first of two reasons. Who do the armed men fear the most? The armed men. Yes, they fear the unarmed man not at all. Huh. That's, that's kind of true, isn't it? Second question. Who will be the one person to survive? <laughs> not, not me. Haven't got a gun. Possibly. More likely you'll survive. Huh? The 20 armed men are talking about surviving and shooting others. You are just thinking about one thing. Surviving! That's right. I'm ducking while the others are blasting away. You'll only be shot by accident. The last two armed men will be killing each other while you are safely tucked away. So I'll survive? Yes! Cool! Hear that, Kirk? No gun, and I survive. Yeah. Home turf advantage, Kirk. That's the last time I watched Dick in his element, really enjoying himself. Mm -hmm. I should have just watched. Mm -hmm. Took pride in the boy. Mm -hmm. Hell, are you? Yep. I'm ashamed to say I was only thinking about myself. I gave myself the excuse that things were becoming overwhelming and confusing. Truth is, I was doubting myself. Nothing was wrong. Mm -hmm. Everything was happening correctly, yet the world was crashing in on me, and I knew why. Mm -hmm. I hadn't done my homework. Somehow, I had broken it all. And now I was playing catch-up. I had no idea what the mystery was that I hadn't solved. If you asked me then what the mystery was, I couldn't have told you. But now, it was clear as a bell, and it had started on that train. <sighs> have you verified my suspicions, Kirk? That, and more. No need to read this. The answer is B. And how long have you been under the influence? Kirk? Kirk Langstrom. I didn't ask you, Kirk, to hear myself talk. Damn it, how long? O only two hours. You, you know I'm well within my limit, and it's important. The message is for you. Oof. This is not going to be pretty. Two hours isn't as good as not at all! You could have come as yourself, not, not this atrocity! T t time 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 is of the essence, or if not, the answer A. Then take the anti-serum now! I don't wish to be responsible for your stupidity. I, 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 I'm doing it now, I, I earned this small foray in the dark, w wouldn't you say? I see that glint in your eye. That's you, Kirk. P p perhaps more me. Oh, wait, Bruce. I truly have more things to tell you that, that only the serum gives me the courage to say. This is Commissioner Gordon, Batman. The raid on Wade Industries Pier has begun, as you predicted. It's a cover up for Riddler's attack on the Gotham Mint. I'll be right there. Kirk, take the anti serum, then call me. But, but, yes, I, I will. Robin, 
I know. To the Batmobile. It's a bat. It's a sports car. It's a plane. It's a supercar. It's more than slick, boy blunder. It's James Bond Q. Is the number two back from the shop? Turbo's armed, biodiesel engaged. Come on, all systems on. Did you just call me boy blunder? Blunder. Thank God! Systems. Online. Seals. Disengaged. Seals? Or forth. Underwater seals? Really? I'll tell my men to expect you at the mint. No, I'll be coming to the piers. The piers? Here? Batman, no, wait. It's too late here. The attack on the piers is underway, and they'll be gone before you can get here. The fact is, we're outgunned. Don't worry. Kirk. Don't, don't worry. I'll see myself out. Perhaps we can talk later. I said later. It, it's important. It's, it's important. We can, we can talk later. After, I, I, I hope. The Riddler is at the Mint, and we're going to the Pierce to save a shipment of dinosaur bones? Are you nuts? He can print his own money. And spend it if he's not caught first. How much can he print? Where can he print it? Can he print it faster than the Mint? Best of all, who cares? I thought you cared. The Riddler. A clown in tights. It's not like you to avoid a fight with the Riddler. It's not like me to let myself be led around by the nose just to play the Riddler's game. Really, isn't it? It's just like you. He'll be there at the Mint laughing at us. Not this day, Robin. He's given us the clue. Perhaps without knowing it, at the end of the day, we will face this Riddler. I hate this Sherlock Holmes crap. I'll, I'll let myself out. I'm not really sure of its significance at all, but later... Oops! Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. I'll, ha I'll have to fly home. Shame, I'm clumsy, these hands. I should have made a greater effort to warn Batman. I should have taken the warning at face value and ignored it. Took my injection and it slipped away. I'll come back later and warn him. I'll, I'll just... Let myself out. I don't need to bother Alfred. I'm not wholly sure he'll be grateful for this. Ah! What? You are going to tell him? No, 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 no I, I wasn't. I, I, I swear. Liar! If you tell him, if you tell him, I'll pull your spine from your body. It, it, it can't be, mm, mm, be that important. Can't be important. You don't decide what's important. He is not to know of the cave. But 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 why? It, it's just a cave. Or... Just a cave. Just a cave. You know it's not just a cave. You are fortunate now. That I need you alive. You know that Ra's al Ghul never figured out that Bruce Wayne was Batman. You know he found it. Others, Bach, found it by accident from the cave. I, I, I won't tell. I, I promise. Just don't understand why. You are rapidly becoming worth the killing, Kirk. Langstrom. The commissioner is still looking to get you over to the mint. Ignore it. Just keep monitoring the police ban for congestion at the piers. Don't get distracted. Where's... The note? A copy of Riddler's note is in the printer. You're acting very mysterious and weird. Read it. It's a very bad poem. Too full to eat one bit more. Too loaded you can't order. Time to hear a friendly hint. How about an after dinner? Um, um, friendly hint, after dinner, Mint, it's the Mint! He's telling us he's at the Mint, for Christ's sakes, what else? We're going to the piers. What's at the piers? Dinosaur exhibit. Langstrom, curator Langstrom, got the waybill for me. Saved me a lot of time. I get it. We'll do this, then get the Riddler. After dinner, what? Mint. The police will get him. Bruce, boss, Bruce, you're, you're headed for- Look at it! Oh, oh my god, what? The Harrier technology got its final testing during during the week, during midterm exams. This will let us avoid a whole lot of traffic if they don't shoot us down. <laughs> this 
This is better than... Isn't there a law against this? Fly driving? This is huge! Ejection seats? Yeah. Don't open a window. What do you see at the piers? The airspace around the piers is thick as flies with police choppers, big guy. It's not safe. I'm going down. Down? There's no down. Down there. Fasten it's... your seatbelt. This could be bumpy. Bumpy? There's no place to land. Shut up, kid! I'm focusing. <laughs> Set for hydroplaning. <laughs> Set the seals. Life support on! Check, check, and check. I know, I know. There's there's time for talk. And there's time to grab the family jewels. Shut up and... Whoa! Ride the wind! Are those tires? Retracting? Yes. The bow and aft wheel wells are retrofitted to seal for hydroplaning. Shh! Feels like a cigarette bow. Unfortunate name, but yeah, same thing. No. Hey, right? I got it. I like it. I love it. It's mine. God. The Raiders have two fleets of trucks and massive firepower. They're ahead of us every step of the way. And we'd be trading good men for crates of bones. Roblox aren't working so far at all. The trucks are spreading out like a fan, and all of our firepower is at the mint. Hmm. That's the real problem. The state says focus on the mint. No oh, Batman's over there. Anybody know who belongs to this stuff? Murray's looking for the waybills now. You're working from the wrong end of the pier. In fact, that's where the hijacker's goal is. The end. Hmm. What's at the end? Their goal. Batman! My god! How did you do that? I, I should be used to this by now, but I swear... It's all been four minutes since the call. How did you- Let's jump over that, Commissioner. It's a little gadget I got in the mail. Robin and I are going to take the end of the pier and we'll contain the rest of them on the pier. You get the stragglers. Figure ten minutes. Well, fine. I got it. What's at the end of the pier? And, and wait, how, how did you- Make it seven minutes. Look! Commissioner Gordon! Lord! But! The Mint! Struts are holding. Cell securing. We've got to cut them off. Limit their escape. I need you to structure a barrier. Mid-pier. Right. Ignition. Three, two, zaboo. Those two stun me on a daily basis. They'll save lives today. All right. Move out your assault squads into the attack positions on land side. Snipers to take out tires on the left side. Assault to begin in exactly seven minutes. Batman and Robin are cutting off the Raiders' escape from the pier. Mobile units, move two blocks outward and set up spike strips to, and cement blocks. Blitz on my signal. Choppers, uh, man out for stragglers. Finally, over here. We got it. Get that creep and his kid over here. There's a rumble down the pier. Ah, freak! Get over here! Cops ain't gonna give us much time. Daddy! Keep organized, Luis. Do what they say. I'm trying. Here, Professor. Where are the hydrogen takes? I won't ask again. I'll just kneecap you. <laughs> they're, they're, they're labeled. There's enough hydrogen in there to let you drive across the United States of America. Good. Blow! Blow it hell! To be continued.